Keep your heads up and your arms covered, family. Here's the verse of the day for Thursday, December 1st, 2022. And it's Hebrews 13, 5. Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as ye have. For he has said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. And you already know, beautiful family, he's with us everywhere we go. Joshua 1, 9. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. And he will never leave you or forsake you. He's got your back and he's got my back forever. He's Yeshua HaMashiach. And he said, the signs will be in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And right now, in the sun, there's a big sunspot alert. A new sunspot is emerging over the sun's southeastern limb, and it appears to be a big one. And right under that, Mars' closest approach to Earth. Today, Mars makes its closest approach to Earth for all of 2022. Look east, family, after sunset. The wandering star, they call the red planet, is shining brightly in the constellation Taurus. Its rusty red color is unmistakable. And it says, although today is the date of the closest approach, the real show happens one week from today. On December 7th and 8th, there's going to be a beautiful lunar occultation of Mars. And it says people across most of North America and Europe will be able to see this bright, naked eye event. The full moon will pass in front of Mars for as much as an hour depending on the observer's location. And I'll show you that right now. And I set Stellarium to UTC time and I'll walk you right to the 7th and the 8th when this happens right now. So as you go through the days, you can see today the moon passes Jupiter. And as you keep going through the days, you can see the moon passing what they call Aries and headed for what they call Taurus. And on the 7th, you could see it is approaching the red wandering star, Mars. And as I go through the hours, UTC time, you can see right there when it's about to turn December 8th, the moon starts covering up the wandering star, Mars. They call the red planet. And it's right on one of the horns of the bull. And as you go through the hours, you could see it pass Mars. And I showed you, when you go to time and date, you can see right there, I highlighted it. The full moon is at 4.08 universal time on December 8th. So I set Stellarium to 4.08 just now, so you could see that it's right, the full moon is happening right when the moon is over the wandering star Mars. And as you go through the hours, you could see the moon and Mars separating. And when you go to Strong's Bible Concordance for 408, the time, the UTC time for the full moon, and I showed you this, the definition is man of victory. And when you go to renewedmoon.com, you could see that the new moon was confirmed globally, and it was also confirmed over Israel in Tiberias on November 25th at 4.48 UTC time, which is very interesting because the full moon time is at 4.08 UTC. I just showed you. And the new moon was confirmed at 4.48. Door, 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 new beginnings. And when you go to Strong's Bible Concordance for 448, in Hebrew, the definition is God has come. And yes, he has in the flesh, and he's coming back to get us. And in Strong's Greek, the definition is without mercy. Woo! I just got hit with the Holy Spirit. All glory to you, Father, in the name above every name. Yeshua, Hamashiach, also known as Jesus Christ. The name above every name. And the new moon was also confirmed in Arad in Israel at 5 p.m. universal time. 
And I've showed you this a couple times. 500 in Strong's Greek is Antichrist. And 500 in Strong's Hebrew is God ascends. Last time I showed you this, we had reached, Christina and I, all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. We reached 500,000 invitations printed and shipped. And some of you brothers and sisters are finishing handing those out right now. Praise you, Father, for our beautiful family in Jesus Christ. The day is approaching. We're about to take flight and meet the dead in Christ in the air to be with Jesus Christ forever. Hold fast. And if you feel like you're losing your faith, that doesn't surprise me because we're in the great apostasy. So if you feel like you're losing faith, then open your Bible and eat up. Grub down the word. And remember, Romans 10, 17. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So armor up and draw your sword, the word. And when the father of lies put thoughts in your head, attack him with your sword. We're children of the Most High, the creator of heaven and earth. We're soldiers, so endure, family. Keep enduring with me. We're on the front lines, and we can't lose because it is finished, and you are eternal. You'll be like the angels forever. Hallelujah. All glory to our Father and the Son. And that last new moon was a new super moon, the first of five. The November 23rd new moon, which was actually confirmed November 25th, is the first in a series of five new super moons in a row. And the second one is during Hanukkah, December 23rd. And I'm hoping we're leaving. But if we're still here, I'm going to keep pushing. The only thing that's actually keeping me going is the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh. It feels like I'm on Holy Spirit cruise control. And Jesus Christ is carrying me through everything. And he's using you and your support and love and beautiful comments. So just so you know, I appreciate your motivation and your encouragement. Thank you. God bless you forever. And when you scroll down, it says, we had five new supermoons in a row in 2017, 18, 19, and 20. We had three new supermoons in a row in 2021. Strictly speaking, we have four new supermoons in 2022, but they're not in a row. Two fell early in the year and two are in November and December. And it says, in 2023, we'll have three new supermoons in a row, January, February, and March. Joining with those in late 2022 to make our current five-in-a-row series. And one of those was in November. It already happened. And the next one I just went over is December 23rd. That's five in a row, family, if we're still here for January, February, and March. And we're in the Jubilee all the way until September. And if you don't know, the definition for Jubilee is a special anniversary of an event. And the sea and the waves will be roaring. And the Earth's oceans feel new supermoons. Bottom line, November 25th started the series of five new supermoons in a row. Now get this, if we're still here, January 21st, 2023, the new supermoon is the closest new moon until the year 2145. Now I'll take you to Galatians chapter 3 and I'll start on verse 26. For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. 
for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. You hear that, sisters? Preach freely. There is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. And if ye be Christ's, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise? Yes, hallelujah, you are, we are, heirs, heirs according to the promise. Galatians chapter 4, verse 3. Even so we, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth His Son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. And because ye are sons, God has sent forth the Spirit of His Son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father! Wherefore, thou art no more a servant, but a son, and if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. And that's what's up, fam. All glory to I am. So please, right now, take time and glorify the Father and the Son. Praise Him. Give Him honor and credit and all the recognition. So every day, as much as possible, Praise our Father in the Son for everything He's done. You got this. You're an heir to the throne. He lives inside of you. He's with us everywhere we go. And He understands everything you're going through. And He's the only one that will never hurt you, family. Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Lamb of God the author and finisher of your faith. He will never leave you or forsake you. Your name's written in the Lamb's book of life. All because he died for our sin and gave up his life. And not just for us, but for everyone that believes in him. The lesser of the brethren, and they're out there. The lost sheep, let's get them and bring them back to their first love. And all glory to our Father and the Son, for you listening to his voice and him guiding us to be fruitful, I'm getting ready to hand out another 48 backpacks full of food and drink and supplies and socks and hand warmers and beanies and gloves. And a brother and sister from YouTube reached out to me and I met them at Costco and it was a gigantinormous blessing. And our father guided them to pay for all the food this time. And I met them in front of the store. And our brother's wife, her name's Gloria, she was riding the little electric scooter. So when we left and we walked out the store, I prayed for them and they prayed for me. And Gloria is dealing with some health issues and one of them is Parkinson's. And they're the body of Christ Jesus, Yeshua. Just like you, just like me, family. So I'm calling on you right now to pray for our sister Gloria and her husband, my brother. We're all on the same team, the body of Christ, Yeshua. And if you need prayer or you know someone that needs prayer, just email me. And I'll post your prayer requests in the community tab on YouTube. And our beautiful fam will send up many prayers to our Father. Thank you, family. You always come through. Your prayer warriors, your soldiers for Christ Jesus, the King of Kings. And I'm working on some things for him right now to lift us all up, to motivate us, to encourage us, to keep us from being idle, to keep us being fruitful. And I thank you. And I praise our Father and the Son for you. Right now, you probably barely have any idea, but when we get to heaven, you'll see how much those prayers mean to me and how much Jesus Christ has used you to carry me through these times that we're in, in this dark world. And I'm going to do my best to keep shining as bright as I can and lighting this place up. And I know you are too, family. 
So keep your lamps on, burning brightly. Turn them all the way up, as bright as you can. And keep your heads up, and keep smiling. Because nothing can stop us. He's with us everywhere we go.